Nepal, a beautiful country located in South Asia, is known as a Himalayan nation in the world. Majority of its population depends on agriculture for livelihood. Currently, there are 77 districts and one of them is Kavri Palanjo. This hilly district is rich in natural resources and scenic beauty. The state of health and education, two key indicators of development, remains painfully low. DCWC officially established in Europe 2000. DCWC focused on health and education. In 2004, uh, I met a very good friend from England. His name is Gary Collier. Uh, Gary Collier back in home uh, from 2004, he's starting to raise the fund for DCWC to build a school and to build community hospital. People have low access in health and education, mainly in rural and far-flung areas. Access to health, education and other government services are pathetic. The government is yet to ensure health and education services in far-flung areas. To fill this void, DCWC is providing health services to the local people of Rameshap, Dolakha, Sindhupalchok, Kavripalanchok and other adjoining districts. The purpose of this campaign is to ensure health and education rights of the people. Development of Children and Women Center, abbreviated as DCWC Nepal, is registered with Social Welfare Council, Government of Nepal. It is non-political, non-religion and non-profit social organization that supports health and education sector in rural areas of Nepal. Our partner organization in UK is starting to raise this some money. Then we had some money, but we did not have enough money to build the uh, medical center. But we, we started in, you know, it's the 2010. So we officially opened uh, DCWC Community Hospital in 2010. The organization is conducting health camps in different places at different times. The need for the establishment of a hospital was realized after the number of patients substantially increased. The hospital aims to provide health facilities to local people. It is not an easy task to set up hospital in rural area. Akalama, president of the organization, took a lead in establishing the hospital, while Nepalese and foreign nationals provided support for the same. First year, so we had a sponsor a company in UK called Morris, and representative of the company Morris, Sue Hamilton, she was a very kind person. So she support for us uh, to run 2011. So after finished 2011, we had another you know, big problem, way to find the money to continue to pay for the uh, medical doctor, medical nurse, then he stopped, you know, other stuff. We found great people, Steve Gross, you know, Janet Gross, Clara McNamee, Patrick, Granny, and Karen, so Perry, and Linda, and some other, you know, is the many friend. We found very great people. So they worked very hard to support. Back in 2007, when we did the health camp, and we realized that uh, there was a need here for a medical facility. And so we set about uh, to try to uh, build that here. And with the help of um, Sue from the UK, with Modus, and then with Clara's help, and with all the charities in USA, UK, and Czech Republic, uh, we've managed to get what we've got today. So, yeah, we're very proud of it, and we hope you like it. Okay, thank you. DCWC Community Hospital is located at Rasbas Churi Devrali, Ward Number no. Two. Nagri Gagarche, VDC of Kavre District, Nepal, bordering area of Rameshap, Dolekha, Sindhupalchok, and Kavre Palanjok. 
It lies in the east of Kathmandu, followed by 57 km of black topped road and the other 36 km rough road. It takes an average of 6 hours by a four wheel drive from Kathmandu. The objectives of TCWC Community Hospital are to provide general and specialized curative healthcare services to poor and marginalized people, to provide basic preventive services such as family planning, immunization, and health awareness activities to the beneficiaries in an integrated manner, to establish general health service center, and to promote the referral system to the further treatment in cities to provide quality treatment services both outpatient and inpatient to coordinate and cooperate with government line agencies and concerned parties to work together to improve services the service provided by the hospital are 24-hour emergency service with ambulance x-ray ecg usg lab facilities minor ot dental extraction pharmacy 24-hour telephone consultation, OPD service, IN patient service, home service within two hours walking distance, specialized health camps. The hospital, established eight years ago, now has the capacity of 15 beds. Women from poor and backward communities are facing health hazards relating to uterus and painful menstruation. Local people are suffering from many diseases, including deadly cancer. With the establishment of the hospital, local people could get free of cost medical facility in their own village. With access to health services, the loss of human lives has also decreased. ECWC is the first time that we have been able to do this. 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 डीसी डब्लू संस्था ने एटा हस्पिटल स्थापन गए यहाँ का कतिपय यो विगत का ये स्वास्थ्य स्थापना न होता खेल हस्पिटल नदे धे मंत्री को यहाँ अकाल में मृत्यु डॉक्टर क्लारा अलॉंग विथ फ्रेंड्स स्टीव ग्रॉस केम टू नेपाल फर द फर्स्ट टाइम इन टू थाउजेंड ट्वेल्व टू अब्जर्व द हेल्थ कैंप ऑर्गनाइज बाई डी सी डब्ल्यू सी आई एक्चुअली मेट द फाउंडर डीसी I loved the Tonkas, but as we talked, I realized there was more to his life than I knew. And he talked about the medical care for the people in the high Himalayas. So I started volunteering money to support the health camps in this part of Nepal. She is providing financial support to the hospital continuously since 2012 after she knew about the poor health situation of the Nepalese people living in the rural areas as she made up her mind to contribute to the health sector in the rural Nepal. This hospital is being operated until now with the financial support from Dr. Clara. I am delighted to see everyone so dedicated. Education and health are the most significant factors in our lives and hope world peace. Life needs to be the same, but more brought into the 21st century for the learning skills that are required of our young people. The hospital is providing health services to the people of Rameshap, Dolakha, Sindhupalchuk, Kavri Palanchuk and other adjoining districts. <laughs> सरकार बाटा से यो अलग ती पहुंच ना पुए को ठाऊं रो यहाँ से यो कापरे रामेश्वर रो यो दुलखा को से अली विकट दुलखा को सीमा नाम अपने यो विकट ठाऊं रो यहाँ से सरकार को तीस तो पहुंच ना पुगनी तीस कारण लेजे अब यो डीसीडब्ल्यू सी लेजे यहाँ तीस तो से हेल्थ केयर को से आज ना गर Local people had to lose their life due to lack of treatment of minor health hazards such as STDs, 
wounds, allergies, diarrhea and others. The child mortality rate was high, which has been now minimized. कति त मान्छेहरु बच्चा जन्ममा नसकेर अहिले उहाँले दोस्रो विवाह गर्नु भएछ इ इ परको उहाँको नाम सायद ठकै पदम बहादुर थापा होला अनि लगभग दुई दिन दिन बच्चा चाहिँ जन्माउनु नसकेपछि उहाँको चाहिँ मिसेसको डेथ भयो टाटा कम्पनी प्रोवाइडेड द एम्बुलेंस टु द कम्युनिटी हस्पिटल इन 2012 फलोइंग अ रिक्वेस्ट फ्रॉम अमेरिकन नेशनल्स पैट्रिक ग्रेने एंड कैरन रेबल the ambulance is playing a crucial role in the rural areas by carrying patients to hospitals on time. यो अस्पताल ले प्राप्त गरेको यो एम्बुलेंस यहाँ का चाहिँ दाजुभाइ दिदीबहिनी यहाँ अस्पताल व्यवस्थापन समितिका साथीहरु सबैलाई तपाईहरुलाई यो सानो नासो हामी जिम्मा लगाएर जान्छौ अहिले सरकारी नीति भनेको आज हामीले जो उसले यो बाल तथा महिला विकास केन्द्रले गरेको छ अनि उहाँहरुले गर्ने काम चाहिँ हाम्रो सरकारले गर्नु पर्थ्यो किनभने यस्तो यस्तो दुर्गममा पनि त जुन किसिमको राख्दाखेरि त बिरामी त दुर्गम क्षेत्रको हुने हो सुगम क्षेत्रको होइन त्यो कारणले गर्दाखेरि आजको जो कार्यक्रम छ त्यो कार्यक्रम मलाई एकदमै ठीक नेपाली जनताको जुन भावना अनुकूल छ भन्ने कुरा चाहिँ किन भन्दाखेरि यो एम्बुलेंस आउनु भन्दा जनताको केही न आयु त बढाउनु नै हो नि एउटा मात्रै पार्ट लिएर गयौँ भने हामी त्यति सक्षम हुन सक्दैनौँ त्यसुनाले आका लामाजीको यो दूरदर्शिता शिक्षा र स्वास्थ्यमा स्कुल र हेल्थ इन्स्टिट्युसनमा सँगसँगै लिएर जाने जुन भिजन छ दिस इज ग्रेट वास्तवमा भन्नु हो भने यस किसिमको एउटा क्रिएटिभ माइन्ड चाहिँ गवर्नमेन्टले पनि सरकारले पनि यस किसिमको क्रिएटिभ माइन्डलाई पर्सिभ गरेर त्यस किसिमको पोलिसीहरू प्लानिङहरू गर्न जरुरी हुन्छ भन्ने मलाई लाग्छ टकिङ अबाउट दिस हस्पिटल दैट ह्याड जस्ट ओपन द इयर बिफोर अर फ्यू मन्थ्स बिफोर एन्ड वी टक्ड अबाउट अ लट अफ थिङ्स आई फेल्ट लाइक आई बिकेम भेरी क्लोज टु आका एन्ड हिज वाइफ चन्दा एन्ड एज वी टक्ड आई वान्टेड टु हेल्प एन्ड So Aka and I started talking about how we could make people in the US know about this place this charity more. So um that's when I started getting involved and I made a website for DCWC US um and we started raising funds initially for the ambulance and then we uh were so lucky that Tata Motors donated the ambulance. and so now there are funds that we have all raised together my wonderful friends that have traveled with us this week everyone has helped to make that check the size that it is and we're so so happy to see what Claire and I become very close friends i made a point in 2011 i'm here claire is here and we had one day that we were here at the same time we were on separate trips and clara leaves the next day i'm just getting here so i make sure she meets aka cuz i know aka's very very easy to like and trust you can feel this right away and uh and of course she took a real liking to aka and then her and i talk a lot during the year and at first she makes modest contribution then the next year we come together she gets to know aka even better comes to when aka stays at my house in the US in may she gets to know aka even better and she just became more and more committed to the work that's being done here specifically at the hospital a separate pharmacy building has also been built in the premises of the hospital which have made it easier to distribute medicines. Bus up. <laughs> and it let us know what it takes to get all the way in here to get to medical care. And it became even more evident how important this place is to you all. This whole medical facility. We're deeply grateful that we were able to help in this process. Dr. Clara not only provided the fund to construct top floor of hospital building she also donated fund for the construction of a dormitory building for the employees In 
In the year 2017, she funded to build the three-story kitchen come guest room building, which has been completed this year. On the day of inauguration, she seemed very happy as she entered the kitchen. I wish I knew Nepali. I promise next year when I come, I will speak in your language. But please forgive me for speaking in mine. I am so delighted to be here among all of you. And I am thrilled with what Guna has done to establish this beautiful kitchen building. I thank you all for your love and support. And I really feel at home in the village. Thank you for your warmth, your charity, and your love. Namaste. The reason is, the support provided to this organization was utilized in a transparent way. Recently, we have completed three-story building, which is kitchen, dining, and two-story guest buildings, and which is again with the support of Clara McNamee. Lucy has been able to do transparency about all the financial detail, uh, such as uh, we have received uh, so much fund from different don donors, uh, generous donors like Clara McNamee. Therefore, we have been able to consistently establish and run the hospital of 15 bed. Uh, to provide all the different kind of general facilities for the different individuals, poor individuals in different villages. She has also contributed in the field of education. She distributed educational materials to students in rural areas. This is as close to heaven as I've probably ever come. It's the scenery is beautiful, the people are so happy, and I am so grateful to be here. Don't you, bud? In the last seven years, thousands of local people have been treated through the Carvibalancho based community hospital. The local people from different districts also receive primary health care. Thus, it helped to save many lives. hospital with the aim of extending the health services and increasing health awareness, Dr. Clara is planning to establish a nursing college to give trainings to students and women living in the rural districts like Dolekha, Sindhupalchuk, Kabri and so on. We have a five-year plan now that I'm really excited about, and that is training the people, the young people from the higher villages into being nurse practitioners. So the school of nursing is the answer. It will not only give them an education, uh, it will give them a profession, and it will fill the needs by doing outreach clinics at these very distant villages. So that's our five-year plan. And I think then the infrastructure will be in place. Her previous works clearly shows her love and empathy towards the Nepali people. When it comes to improving health services, providing services to poor people and other social services, she is active like a youth. Neither age nor geography had stopped her from providing support and services in the health sector. She visits Nepal frequently. She has played a very important role to provide healthcare services to the poor and marginalized people of the rural Nepal. Her contributions demonstrate her love for Nepal and the Nepalese people. It is not an easy task to set up 50-bed hospital and nursing college 
in a place which is backward in terms of health and economic condition. It is a big facility of this place and people. Many people are being benefited from this facility. This work is not easy. A huge financial support is needed to accomplish it. It is necessary for many helping hands to come together to provide health service to people living in the rural areas. This campaign led by Dr. Clara is very important, useful and productive in the situation where Nepal government is not capable enough to provide health facilities to its people. For this, DCWC also seeks support from people who are willing to continue this campaign. Dr. Clara says everybody should receive health services on time and have enough knowledge on health. Recently, DCWC held cataract and general eye screening camp. Altogether, 205 patients participated in the camp from different villages. People walk up to three hours to attend the camp. The number of female was 113 and male was 92. 24 out of 205 patients required cataract operation immediately and were sent to city hospital right after the camp with hospital staff to get treatment. It was June 24, 2018. A team of doctors and nurses reached Doramba to handle the delivery case. Sumnima Tamang, 20 years old young woman, was suffering from an extreme labor pain. As the road condition was bad and ambulance could not go there, the team walked for 30 minutes to reach there and took care of the woman who immediately gave birth to a baby girl. The health condition of both the mother and the baby was good and they were taken to the hospital for extra care. Thank you very much from the deep of my heart to Clara McNamee for being there and being consistent support for the poorest people of Nepal. And we are very, very grateful to have you with us. Thank you. She wishes that the local people from different rural districts and villages receive the medical facility for a long period. No one should die due to minor health problems. Everybody should come together to make this happen. The hospital is planning to upgrade from 15 bed to 50 bed community hospital. And we would like to, we very much like to have a nursing school, nursing education. Hope one day our dream will come true. So thank you for all your support.